talk about not having enough teachers in the classroom or enough substitutes to cover for all the teacher vacancies that exist, uh, that means our children are missing out on the education they are promised and deserve. Tonight, the nationwide labor shortage is even impacting the classrooms. Good evening, I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. ABC 27's Jada Williams joins us live from the Florida Education Association with a look at how educators in Florida and Georgia are now looking at what needs to be done to make sure children get the best education possible. Getting more teachers into the classrooms is a goal for advocates like the Florida Education Association as well as school superintendents, both saying that changes need to be made from higher wages to better workplace culture to make sure that more teachers decide to enter the classroom. When you talk about not having enough teachers in the classroom or enough substitutes to cover for all the teacher vacancies that exist, uh, that means our children are missing out on the education they are promised and deserve. That's the conversation Florida Education Association President Andrew Spar is having. And we have a, quite a few proposals going before the legislature. One of them obviously is fair and equitable pay for all. Uh, we have seen this legislature pass bills that address pay for a small group of individuals within the teaching force, but we really need to address pay for teachers and support staff, staff across the board in our public schools. He says the average salary for teachers in Florida ranks 49th in the nation, more than $10,000 less than the national average, which was $65,090 for the 2020-2021 school year, according to the National Education Association. Spar says Florida is leading the nation in the teacher shortage, Teachers usually leave at the start of the year, but he says many more are calling it quits mid-semester this year due to issues like mass debates between parents. There's several issues going on here, right? One is that uh, there is a high level of frustration, and we have seen an incredible amount of rancor at school board meetings across the state, which is really leading to the perception that people don't respect uh, those who work in our public schools. Not unique to Florida, in Colquitt County, Georgia, Superintendent Ben Wiggins says the school is using retired teachers as long-term substitutes. However, he's working to make sure Colquitt County is one of the best options to job-seeking educators. We've got some new benefits for our supplemental benefits that we've just added with Totem Solutions. And the biggest news that we hope is going to attract new teachers to be interested in working for our school district is we have implemented a 403B match program up to 6%. So we're hoping those things will really entice future educators to come work in Cockwood County. I did talk to one school district that says the labor shortage isn't impacting them. Thomas County School says they have all of the teachers that they need and they're doing well, but they could use more substitutes. Reporting live from Florida Education Association, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Well, speaking of that substitute shortage today, at least 100 interviews have been lined up in the search for subs in Leon County. That means Leon County Schools will have almost 400 substitutes on staff to meet the need across 40 schools in the district.